See, I hate you back with the green and red. Yeah. <laughs> we need to talk about these things, as you always say, because it will kick these things under the table. Who will talk about them? The animals can talk about them. We have to talk about them because these things are happening right in our community. Let's talk. Let's have some critical thinking today, okay? Yes, amen. This man and his wife, they were married. They married legally, now where? But they are married legally. This is our true story. And I want you guys to listen keenly and hear it. They are married legally. They went and they born three children. Two boys, one girl. Listen clearly, two boys, one girl. Mm -hmm. When they born these children, one of them were there, they considered that one. One of the boys, they consider him as the bad child. They mm -hmm. consider that one as the bad child and they never put any effort in that child. He goes to school, he run away from school, he doesn't stay there, whatever, they didn't go after that child, they just touch that child or like that. And the child just did end up not going to school, end up not learning anything. But this very child that they did not do anything for, they did not care about this child, this boy grew, grew up, saw him son and cute, and this middle in the end, a woman just picked this boy up. The woman said, I don't care whether he no book or not. Mm -hmm. I love him and I'm going to marry him. We're going to marry. Now the both of them marry. Men mm. who not even looking for any man to go to school or what. Mm. They got married. Now the father and the mother wanting to be in this child life now. Now mm. they want to be in this child life. Y'all yeah, speak to me, my people. If you were this boy, what would you do? The boy mm. can sleep. They're ringing him, calling people all around that their child have neglected them. Their child don't want to come to them. They want to be in their child life. Mm. Wow. So what y'all say? I want to hear from you. Ooh. If you so were the, the child, ends. what would you do? The question is, have yes. they found out that they're married to a millionaire? Oh, they yes. Ah. The boy married to a millionaire. They're walking from house to house, helping people from house to house, mm -hmm. going from place to place. They were only interested in the other two children. Right, right. They just abandoned this boy. They were interested in the other children. They abandoned this boy. Mm -hmm. Now the boy went from place to place. The boy does not even live in, in Africa anymore. Mm -hmm. This is a true story. The boy lived in Europe. Mm -hmm. The boy that's, lived in Europe. That's why he met the rich woman. Mm. From place to place, happy. he ended up in Europe. Mm -hmm. Now the boy is married. And when they got the information that their son married a rich man, a millionaire, he pick up the phone, they call him, mm. he pick up the phone, he told them that he's married. And right. this woman, you know, yeah. they want to be in the so, boy life now. So now. Now they want to be in now the they boy want money now. No, they want money. Yeah, they want to be in a boy life. So I want to know if it was you, your parents shut you down from going to school, from education, and educated your brothers and your brother and your sister, mm. and and consider you as the bad child among the okay. children, and you end up being the best of the children. What will you do if they if now right. they want to be in your life? Mm. Now they want to be in your life. What will you do? Now I don't want to be in your life. What will you do? Somebody, you speak. Come out and talk to me. I want to know. Critical mothers are here. Yeah. Mothers that have children. It's you all know, about you know Georgia, something Georgia, here. Georgia said it's all about the money. That's why I about, asked the question. Do they yes. know that I am now married to a millionaire? Because yes. for me now, I'm, yes. I'm thinking right now, you're mm. only calling me because I got money. Now you heard that I married a millionaire. No, now you're reaching out to me. They never even found out whether he, whether he ever traveled out of the country, or even if he was alive or dead. Oh, dead? I mean, no. Yeah. They didn't care. They didn't care. He's just Why a now? child that was just a bundle in the street. They ain't go wherever he want to go. Mm -hmm. Let him live the life he want to live. We don't care. As so, long as our two children, 
this boy and this guy can go to school and learn something that is better. This one was done with that one. And the one they were done with, that's the one right. that is doing good. Yeah. That's the one that's signing papers. All right. People working well, for him. That's a tough one, man. Right. When I say it's a tough one, meaning they had no right to abandon him. But I wonder how bad was he? What was he really doing? And I mean, it, it, does, it shouldn't matter what he was doing. It shouldn't matter how bad, bad he was. was. It shouldn't, it shouldn't matter, matter what he was doing. doing. No. Yeah. So, someone said, let's go, let's get some comments in here. Someone said they would have mm -hmm. run him. Run them, I'm sorry. They gone up so quickly. Don said, run them. Just, just run them. No, she wouldn't have wanted him in her life at that moment. Now that I married a millionaire, it's all about the money now. You're coming for money. Is is you know, it's pretty much what I am thinking. It's all for the money. Uh, Barbara said, Barbara Davis said, forgive his parents and receive them. Honor your mother and father, even when they error. They are our parents. Amen. I like that. I like that too. Okay. I like that, Barbara. I say amen to that as well. Amen. amen. But, you know, okay, we're going to say, Mildred said, let them continue keeping their distance. You don't hate them because they're your parents. Mm -hmm. But she will let them continue keeping their, their distance. Okay. I would ask them, well, how much money do you want? Because you gotta be you gotta be interested in money now. You yeah, never have, have, have seek to oh, find you out. What Barbara Barbara said. You heard what Barbara said. Barbara David, you heard what said. Forget even though yes. even on. though they have abandoned you, but because they are parents, they're gonna tell you they ain't come for money. Hmm. They're gonna tell you that they just want you back in their lives. Mm. They're gonna tell you no, we didn't come for money. We're not here for money. That's what parents gonna do. All right, let's get some mm. others. Um, Julie P. Come said, on, guys, y'all give me something. I would, I would have ignored them because it's only money they are after. So should we ignore them forever <laughs> or for some time? Because you can't ignore someone, but later on maybe you can change your mind. What mm. are you looking for? I, I wouldn't have said that right away either, Mama. Meaning that that would be something that I would need to think about. I would not set them right away because I would be like, "Wow, after all of this time, now you want to know me because I'm alive. You know, you want to know if I'm alive or not. All of a sudden now, do we? I want to know what that is because so, I don't think it's because of poverty. Let that me is ask one question, Mama. Do we hmm. know how long after he got married? that these people surface again. Do we know how long after he got married? Was he married for six months or a year? Do we oh, know that? We don't really know that. They didn't explain that. But okay. the idea, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the person that know them were only concerned yeah. about this poor wealth, the amount of wealth that this boy have accumulated with this white woman. Mm -hmm. And he does, they didn't send him to school. But the wisdom the boy got, even making this woman to get rich more. Wow. He's a big businessman, yes. The mm. only thing he regretted that he never went to school. Right, right. But look at the kind of impact this boy had made. He never went to school, but he mm. made an impact more than the other children that he was sent, giving money to, to send to school. Look at wow. the kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, Melvina said, um the stone the stone the builder rejected rejected has become the chief cornerstone that's right, right. the that's one that you have rejected has mm -hmm. become the chief cornerstone the stone, yeah, yeah. The no stone. now you want him now you want to be in in his life look how look how he married without even telling them right. because they didn't know his way about right they were completed not in his life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I wonder if he even seek to, to see if they were alive. The question is, did he ever reach out to anybody to see if they were even alive? Maybe I think not. he knows that they were, in, they were alive because he, everybody know Africa. Africa people can ask anybody. Mm -hmm. I believe he knew. Yeah. Yes. He, yeah, he know because it's not something that this is a real story. He knows that they are alive, you know? Right, right. Mm. You know? 
He knows so, that they are alive. You know, they are right in Africa. And they're from Africa, though. They're not from another country, right in Africa. But I would not call the okay. country name, what part of mm -hmm. Africa. It is real, real story. Now they want to be in this child life. They really, really want mm -hmm. to be part of this child. Yes. All right. But the child, so, as you said, the, the cornerstone. Yes. The stone that the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. How do you get the cornerstone? How do you build your house mm -hmm. on the cornerstone? Right. How, so, how? Yes. Sorry, Mama. Georgia said, I don't need them just like how they didn't, did not need me, period. See? I mean, a lot, of children, a lot of children will say that, yes, truly. Yes, a lot of children. Mom and your family. And who, know, who knows whether that's how he was thinking and never yeah. called them in, in his marriage. Right. So he got or married marriage. in Europe. He got married in Europe. And right now, he's still living in Europe. So, so was he living in Europe before he got married, or did this woman um, brought brought him there to Europe? The woman brought him to Europe, uh -huh. right from Africa to Europe. I see. Okay. Yet, okay. That's how you meet somebody on the internet. Have some guy. You see him. The only thing he missed in his life mm -hmm. because of education. That's all. But mama, that goes to show you right there, then. So he was living in Africa all of yes. that time. Only when he met this woman, the woman is the one who brought him there. That means that when he was there, they didn't care about him. They didn't care about they him. They didn't interested care. in him. No, they didn't care. He was just a kind of child that they just abandoned. Oh, that was just an yeah, abandoned child. That, that would be really hard for me, Mama. I'm sorry. I'm just an abandoned child. I thought that, what I thought that the child had already went abroad already. That that the, would be hard. Then. The woman, the the woman is the one. The woman wow. saw him on Facebook. Facebook. The woman met him on Facebook. Wow. And the woman fell in love with him, and the woman mm -hmm. brought him over to Europe. No. Now they got married. Yes, no, that would not, not be easy for me. But let's read some more comments. Yes, so yes. Yes. said I would forgive them for a part and give them an opportunity to redeem themselves. I would keep them at a distance. I would also wait to see if they ask for money. Yeah, I know. I know. If if they are par I mean they are parents and true parents, they're not gonna come up from with money issue. They will not come up from with money issue. No. They're not gonna talk I, about that up front. No, no they're no, not gonna no, talk no. about money. If even you talk about money, they're gonna tell you it's not your money I want, but I want you in our life. They're gonna first come in to give excuses. Why? I feel that they will leave more of the blame on him and say, we'll try, but you didn't do this, you didn't do that. But the child knows that he was abandoned. She was living in Africa. So Daphne said, thank you for the stars, Daphne. I would forgive them, but keep them at a distance. I would too. I, I, like, I like that, truly. I would too, because mama, think about it. The, he was living in Africa right there where they were. Yes. Why wait till I travel now? Marry this millionaire, and all of a sudden now, now you want to know me? Now you want to call me now because I'm abroad? What happened when I was back, back there? What happened when I was probably, when the man was probably hungry and had no people, nobody around him like a family member? And oh, boy, I mean, well, this boy was well, working from place to place, working for people in their home. That's that. how he was taking care of himself in Africa. I, I, no. I was give a number. I didn't, I wouldn't want them in my life like that. I don't hate them, but no. So Akisha said, I don't have any kids, but um, it's still his parents. So at some point, he can forgive them, but keep them on slant. Hmm. That's so, good. That's a good one. That's a good reaction you? right there. Yes. Yes. She reacted on own. Because everybody don't react the same. Yeah. Everybody, the different right. way of reaction. I say Absolutely. every action, there is a reaction. So that's somebody else's reaction right yeah. now. Mm. And Michelle said, it's about money. I would deal with them, period. Sorry. I wouldn't deal with them, period. Love them from afar. Just forgive and keep pushing. Amen. Mm. Yes, I agree too. Because he's a grown man now. He's married. 
possibility soon to have his own children. So, well, I mean, yes, I would still talk with him and forgive them, but that's it. That's it. Yes, but it, you you would need them. You you think you need them in your life? No, I don't. As parents, because no, possibility. How long? Only God knows how long those people haven't been in his life. Meaning, is it five years? Has it been ten years? We don't even yeah, know. Yeah, but if, if the child never went to school, that more than five years, ten years. Well, that's. But the question is, was he still living in their house? Meaning, no, he wasn't living, he wasn't living in the house. They say he was living from place to place. Oh, Jesus. So exactly. working in other people's houses and then yeah. found a way. So he was doing that scary. all the way from house to house. He go oh, to the other people, clean up their house, and survive. Mm -hmm. That's how this child was living all through. That's terrible, man. Now no, they met terrible. him. This woman saw him on Facebook. My God. This woman that's saw him on worse, Facebook. Mama. That's if, even worse. If you see the picture after this, now we send his picture to you. Handsome man. The people, the yeah. boy, imagine the boy did not go to school. But, he okay, did but, not go to school. But I mean, I felt sorry in my heart. But why send him away? Like, why send him away and keep your other children? How bad could the child have been? How bad? Like, That's why I wanted to know. How bad could the child have been for you to dash them all and forget about them for, 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 for this long one? Wow, that he did not go to school, he did not learn anything in school. You consider him as the worst child among the two children and never cared to look for him. Stay in Africa, nobody went for him to bring him back home. That would have been Even hard if the child went astray. Yeah. He shouldn't have abandoned him like that. Exactly. So he was just a, a Dutch out child, abandoned child. And look at the direction the child. I mean, the story is so amazing. Look at this abandoned child started going from place. If he was really bad, this boy was going from place to place to work for people, mm. and they pay him. That's how he was surviving. But look where he didn't end up. He didn't end up in prison. Meaning he didn't go to jail for like he didn't go to jail, he didn't kill so anybody, he didn't steal from anybody. Thing, you know? So how bad was this child? Come on. Wow. No. How bad crazy. was this child? Mm -hmm. When I heard it, when they sent this story to me, when I got the true story of this thing, how bad could this child be? How bad? And not only that, Mama, if the child was bad, that's your child. Find that's a way your child. To, to discipline the child. I mean, you would send your child off instead, like ignore, not send this one to school and send the others to school. All children are different. All children, children are different. They all not the same. And you can't look at this one and say because the others, when you say A, they say they say A, exactly. and the other one you say A, they can't say they say B. So you're going to abandon them like that. Now look That's how terrible. God turned everything around. Yes. Look how everything turned around. Mm. And you, the parents now, want to be in this child life. And I could understand and if you think about this long and hard and think about it long and hard and tell them, you know what, I got to get back to you. I got to get back to you because I need to do some thinking. I can understand if he tells them that because if he thinks about how he lives his life after they chew him out, chew him away, and he had to go from house to house. And, and there were parents who had, and there were parents who had the who had the opportunity to send him to school? They were now poor parents to say, "Okay, I agree. My parents are poor, you know, yeah. very poor. No, they had the opportunity because the dad was working to send yeah. the brother, the, the brother and the sister to yeah, school. To school, yeah. Even yeah. if you have punished your child to beat him up to give him some yeah. tough, uh, 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 tough, tough love, it would have been better." But yes. just touch him like that and forget about him at all. And focus on the other two children and say, let that one go and live whatever life you want to live. Right. I don't think that was not right. Like but let's get some more comments. Uh, mm -hmm. Mildred said, cheap talk, parents. <laughs> Georgia said, mother own children, children don't own mother. And I am a mother of two, 30 and 22. Mm -hmm. And that's true. For me, that's like almost when when they born that child, that boy, they might as well just throw him away right there, because that's pretty much what they did with their child. They yes, threw their yes. child away, and yes. allowed the child to go from 
home to home to home like that when you are alive you ain't care about what's happening what's mm -hmm. happening with your child is your child okay where is the child sleeping what's the child eating mm -hmm. those are things that you you as a parent would think about but mm -hmm. let's see some more here hello hello becky yes. um margaret say i will still love them but they can't come by me <laughs> and they was not getting anything from me <laughs> you see, yeah, that's all on a reaction. Yes, that's all on a reaction. Don't come by me. I that's tell you, right? Talk mm -hmm. to them over the phone and ask it. Because the question is, if they come by you, how are you going to feel when when you look at these people that are supposed to be your parents? How are you feeling? That's in her part. That's in her part. That's in her part. They lost. He lost the parents and child relationship. He lost that. Yes. He like lost that parent and child relationship. Right. So how is he going to build a bike when he's already married? It's a tough right. ground because like how that. is he going to build that bike? Exactly. And he's and probably how, thinking as a man, mm, me, I would never treat my children the way how my parents treated me. Those are the kind of people, those are the kind of children that can be very good to their children. Exactly. And especially for the kind of blessing that he got now. Yes. And never went to school. My God. Hey, so. Never got any education. But mm -hmm. this woman that saw him on Facebook and fell in love with him, took him in and married him. Got him living a luxurious life. Yeah. Luxurious life. Mm -hmm. With everything. Got people working for him. Wow. Let's see some more, Mama. Georgia said, I could never forsake any of my two children. Never, ever. That is not the reason why my son takes me from Jamaica. Play a mother uh, role to both of them. Amen. Absolutely. You see? And that's, that's the thing that people need to understand. Because if you have children, I, I, when I saw this, I said, you know what? This boy... Oh my God, I said this boy would have done so much great in life if he had only went to school. Because if you see the boy, why, why these people abandon their own son? Now, their son is now one of the best. Now they want to show the world, they want to show the world that they got, that this child belongs to them and this is their child Sorry. and they want to, they want to be in the child's life imagine yeah. if that children had gone to school and mm. i started looking at it i said you know the boy is so handsome so cute mm -hmm. i said i see why this woman took this boy and so, so humble mm. and My order God. him straight to you because she got money so yeah. order him stand for him they marry yeah. and then and that's the man that she wanted to be with. And they said the, the woman told the woman told him, I'm not, I know you didn't go to school. He told him told her everything. Yeah. And he was abandoned, was an abandoned yes. child, never went to school, had no one to send him to school. To even yes. survive, he had to go to people to 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 work, clean up their houses to get food to eat because mm -hmm. his parents did not want him home. Right. Yes, yeah, so, so Mildred said, Solomon did not have knowledge, but he asked God, so the woman see good in him. Yes. And yes, then, yes, yes the the woman. Good in him. And now they say he's so happy, the woman doing everything, so humble. Yes. Everything, everything. He's such a good child. But how come they didn't see this in this child? Hmm. How come? Who knows, Mama? Maybe what they did to him, meaning by chew him in out like that, abandoning him and let's let him do whatever. Maybe that made him become even more stronger too. Maybe that helped him become more stronger because the struggle, he was probably out there struggling, real struggle. Probably many nights, probably didn't even have a place to lay his head other than on the streets. Only God knows. Yes, yes. Uh, and he was really a blessed child. Because in Africa, most of the people would be afraid of boys to bring in their home. Mm -hmm. But people are willing to take him in their home to work in their home, to mm -hmm. work for them. Mm -hmm. So how bad could 
who this child be, that they will give up on him yeah. and he will end up. You see what God can do some things? I'm telling you. You will just mm -hmm. abandon this child like this and this mm -hmm. child become now the greatest child among your children. The ones you you wanted to send to school the ones you wanted to take care of and you took care of them. the child is even more than those imagine hey so he can forgive them but don't forget georgia said margaret williams said but why now exactly why now right because they, they got why word now? they got why word now? Now that you they, their son is married to a millionaire that's what mm -hmm. i'm thinking why now yes. mm -hmm. they heard Heard. Somebody told them they heard it. Oh, your son is married to a millionaire. Yeah. Because if they weren't talking to them, if he wasn't talking to them, they weren't talking to him. Who told them? Right? Who told them? They, mm -hmm. they heard. Yes, he let them know. So now they're coming. That's what my they're take would in. be if I was the man, if I was their son. Um <laughs> George <laughs> said, go gold digger, mother and father. They're gold diggers. Yes. Now they're coming for money. Mm. Hello, hello, Raphael. Um, I'm doing great, King. Doing great. Um, let's go down. Let's go down. So Janet said, I would forgive them because love my family and leave them to look in themselves. Okay, I would forgive them because I love my family and leave them to look in themselves. Yeah, he can forgive them, but, you know, he doesn't have to be with them be with them i mean just hearing them probably calling him or whatever or reaching out to to him he probably was shocked and probably saying why now why now why now and he knows he knows what he went through that's why yeah. he asked him why now because he knows what he went through you know yeah. he knows what he went through why now so we want to help him answer the question why now yeah what, exactly. what, what should he do why now? Exactly. Imagine how many how many nights this guy this guy maybe slept without food. True. He had to hustle his way through to get mm -hmm. food to eat. And how, exactly. let me say, the amazing part of God is for him to be on Facebook. Right. And a woman, a rich woman, going to ask him for friend requests. And, you know, can you imagine that? Exactly. Well, he did not marry this woman. He didn't even know the woman was rich. Right. Mm. Wow. And he ended up in Europe. And the woman said, I'm selling for you. Because you always are rich. Yeah. She, had, she didn't have a husband. Wow. And she doesn't care whether he know book or not. Yeah. Yes. But I love him just as who he is. I love him just like that. And the happiest thing that happened to this woman was to meet such a man yes well let's see what audrey said audrey said the man got married they weren't a part of his making i would have to give them parents tough love tough love just like they gave him tough love. i'm what? not saying that you could do it today, but I i'm just saying you, that every time i think about these, these this mom and dad that were supposed to be there for me like you said mama the parents weren't suffering they had the ability and they had the money to send the children to school they weren't suffering to say that they, weren't suffering because he were working. they were not rich people but he they had the opportunity to send him to school mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. way they send the, 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 the other two to school yeah. they had the yeah. opportunity to send it to school and why exactly why, mm -hmm. why? <sighs> so mildred says sometimes that child did not have the same dna and i mean it, it could be that you know like we said before right all children are different you you could yes. have born five children each of them have different personalities yes. maybe two yes. out of those five were just getting in trouble every time they go to school or they make trouble in the neighborhood one of them they're all going to be different mm -hmm. you know but that does not mean you abandon them correct correct exactly so hello teresa um during hello hello during during said um much love much love to you as well much love to mama and cc so georgia said um 
my son always tell me, mommy, I'm going to make you proud. And that is what he did as a mother, boy, child, love their mom. If we, the mother, do the right thing, that is true. Yes, you are right. yes, I agree with you. You know, that's why children, that's why, and that's why when you have children, and you see one little bit rough more than the other ones. Yeah. Do not look down them because you see them rough more than the others. Exactly. You know, because all do not have the same personality. Right. You know. That is true. But this was too much for this child. I'm telling you. know, you. <laughs> even if you chest size your child. Yeah. And, you know, to bring Thank them to the place, you know, of learning. No problem with that. But to just leave them like that, yeah, you know, well, somebody have to pick them from the I street. That one, Mama, I hope that one day this man tells his story. Meaning, for me now, I would want to know what age was this child at when the child actually went, you know, was out there mm -hmm. in the streets from not going to school and trying to, to make ends meet and trying to, to hustle to survive. I, I really want to know. Like, and if, yeah. if I were him, I, I mean, let a man write a book so people can understand. So mothers, so so mothers and fathers will learn from this book. You know, Ooh. then he read a book. My God. You know what caused you. your handsome child like this good, good character. Yeah. Now you want to tell me he got good character now, but never had any good character when he was small. You kick me out. You kick me out. Huh. And somebody he is an something in there. He is an African he, in Europe. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody, somebody wrote something. I think they are saying yes in Europe. You know what I'm asking myself about that person that writes something in there about different DNA. I'm asking myself, was that really his biological mom? Was that really his biological dad? Because oh, how well, can... I don't know. But they're married, and no, the woman married. brought three children. The the man and woman, but they're, my they're the both sometimes parents are married. Dad, but sometimes, even if the dad want to treat the, the child one way, the mom might step in as the mother and at least be concerned about her child. You know, some women, so af, some women so afraid of their husband. Maybe he was just asking this boy more. My God. And then the, the mother just agree with it. Because yeah. some women, you know, when they're married, especially in Africa, yes. and a man says something, they follow the man, you know, which is very bad. Mm. They follow the man, the decision of the father, mm. your dad right. said this, your dad said this, and they finish with that. Yes. You know, That's or true. maybe one day they, they kept beating him, mm -hmm. and then, you know, maybe he left the house. But even if something you beat your child, happened. you try to chastise your child, and yes. your child leave the house. Won't you go after that child to look for that of child? Course. And you know that they have to be, they have to get education, they have right. to get training. You let that child live in the street until a woman picked them from the street. Mm. A rich woman picked them up from the street. That's now that's you want him back? <laughs> woman who pick him up don't even care whether he's educated. Right. See? The man is gone. The man is gone. He's no more boy. But Mildred said, when you think about the Bible, give give them, honor them. Um, honor your father and your mother. Wait, wait, wait. Give uh, them, honor them, uh, them. Give them, honor them. Good morning, good evening. Okay, but don't be a uh, Harris to them, a hater to them. I mean, no. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I read it. But don't be a hate a hatey on me. Mm -hmm. Hatey on me. Um, I think Mildred, I'm sorry if I read it wrong. <clears throat> so Georgia said my father abandoned me and my sister. I was uh, 12, my sister was 11. He came to America until now. I haven't heard from him. Oh, he don't my know me and my sister is in. Wow, that's terrible. These are real stories. He doesn't even know me and my sister. Wow, that's terrible. Yes. Mm. Just abandon the people. People do that. Wow. They abandon their children and <laughs> walk away like that. It's not in a mm -hmm. like in America where when you abandon your child and the mother or one of the parents can take you for child support, yeah. or maybe they're gonna go after yeah. you. 
you know mm. you just abandon the child like that because yeah, yeah you know you think you born them so you can come back anytime and say no. i want my child back oh, to me or you want your me. child to know you Stop. so this is a children. serious thing yeah that is going on yeah in the life of children yeah. because i don't think the parents were thinking right Exactly. I don't think they were thinking right. Mm -hmm. And the very soup they cooked, they sat there and the soup wasted. Now right. somebody else put a different pot on to cook the food. Now they want to eat it. Right, exactly. Now they want to eat it. Let me see what um, Roseanne. I would ask them why, why they didn't care for me, like how they care how for are you the rest, your, yes. and gave me an education that's the question that she would ask them why they didn't care for me and give me an education like the like the other siblings why they go what else you think they're gonna tell you hmm. they're gonna tell him that he refused to go to school oh you thought they might probably use something else like we couldn't afford it at that time we could only afford to send them mm -hmm. they might say that too mm -hmm. you know because how are they going to answer that? Now that they know that he got money, you think they're going to want to say something bad? You were a bad mm -hmm. child? You just didn't listen to us? But no, even if they didn't have money to send to school, why was he abandoned in the street? That is true. He has to go to other people to survive. Right. So it still would not make sense to this child. Exactly. Because so he knows what happened. He knows what happened. Yes. The, I don't the think they could be able for this to child, answer that, Mama. They, uh, I don't think they would be able to answer that question if he no, asked them that. To, I feel that this boy know everything. He knows what happened. Of course. He knows what happened. Because if you left this child, abandon him, he was able to go from house to house to yes. get a survivor and all the way hmm. buying food for himself, making himself look good, Getting on Facebook, somebody called, I mean, asking for friend requests and picking him up. Now he's in Europe, a rich woman. Then how bad was this child? And it had to be a reason too, Mama. Why didn't he ever want to go back home to them, to ask them, to beg them to come back? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you please let me come back? I don't have nowhere to go. Why? But we never know. What mm. he came back home and never because they say he was abandoned. So apparently he came. Maybe the father, maybe the reef I wrote was between him and the father. Who knows? One of the parents or both of them because or, may, or maybe a possibility as well that when it happened, he probably told himself, I'm never going back. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Yes. To make sure that I survive maybe so I have to go back. Yes. Maybe I believe I the way he was treated and saw how his siblings were treated. Mm -hmm. the, the way he was treated in the house and how his siblings were treated. Maybe okay. that made him not to return true. home anymore. To just move on. And I will mm. go to any parents and they will take care of me. What a shame. What a shame, what a shame. Hmm. So Georgia said, we have mother and father like that. My father abandoned me at age of 12, and I am the first one for him. Isn't that a shame? Sometimes yeah. I cry. First you child. See, the, you see these kind of things that are happening? Real okay. story, true story. Yes. Sometimes the child don't do nothing. They just abandon the child. They just abandon the child. Mm. Many times the child, the children don't do nothing. They would just look at the children and pick one or two and abandon one. And make that one to appear that they are the worst child among their children. And the ones that they're praising out turns out to be not turn the out to be ones. Not turns out bad. And the one that yeah. they abandon turned out to be the best one. Right. Oh, that's terrible. That now, uh, Margaret said, Margaret Williams said, some women can be so heartless, you carry... You carry that um, big belly for nine months and don't have a heart, not even a plate of food every day. 
Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the part that I don't get. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't get that either. I don't, I don't get that either. I don't get that either. Exactly. And when you see the boy, you see this man, they tell you he never went to school, you will never believe it. Right. You know? You, you will never believe it that he didn't go to school. Hi. He even looked better than the ones that went to school. Yes. Look be- better than them. You touch your own good looking son in the street because of what? Maybe something he did as a child and you just gave up gave up on him. Sorry. You just gave up on the oh. child. Oh my goodness. No, you can't exactly. give up on your children like that. Georges said they did not search for him. No, because they didn't care. Seemed they didn't like they care. went on with their life. They went on with their life and acted like they only had two children. Because how else were they acting, right? That yes. one is chewed out. Angel, we want you to come on and help us here, please, Angel. Angel, I think Angel probably was now listening to hear what our topic was about. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. You oh know, God can turn uh, go, uh, up t- you turn up you turn a good thing. Yeah. You want to turn something good. God gave you something good. You want to turn that thing to a bad thing, and you just abandon that child. Mm. My God. And look what God turned the child to be. God turned this child to be more than the other children that you sent to school. Mm-hmm. You abandon this one and don't care. You picture him to be the worst child. Right. Now he ends up to be the best. Yep. And the school Angel, that the better rejected now is the chief cornerstone. Angel, try it again, darling. It didn't accept your request. Barbara, sorry, Mama. Barbara Davis said, parenting does not come with a handbook, and sometimes we get it wrong. Sometimes we hurt our children deeply, but two wrongs don't, do not, don't make a right. True, yes. I believe mm-hmm. he has yes. to forgive them mm-hmm. and they apologize and start fresh. And he can forgive them, um, but you know, like could be at a distance. Yeah, he, he, missed that parent, he missed that parent, he missed that child and parent relationship. He yes. missed that. Yes. I yes. think he can come back mm-hmm. and then you know and then talk with them because they are parents, but that relationship will not I don't think it would be no up like that so no. easily that's going to take them years because yeah. they miss on him number one this woman <laughs> that married him she's educated he's not mm-hmm. educated but she loves him mm-hmm. for who he is mm-hmm. she loves him like that she wants him mm-hmm. like that so he thinking now his pet i mean i don't know Angel said, sometimes it, it is mental health. Sometimes it's mental health. Now, Angel, are you saying mental health, meaning the child or the parents? Or the parents. Or the because parents. they had three children, Angel. They took care of the other two, send them to yeah. school. Send Why they abandon this? Why? And now, um, for he married now to a millionaire, they want him back. They want to be in his life. Why be now? Yeah. Why now? So Angel say, unfortunate, unfortunately for them, the ones they abandon often turn out the most successful, um, although usually with many scars. Exactly. Yes. 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 Many scars. Um, and how are they going to get? How are they going to get rid of these scars? Right. It's going to be hard. Gigi said, "This is similar to my life, uh, sweet peach and mama." Sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Those are scars that will be forever with those children. Like children, they're not going to be able to 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 forget about that or get rid of it. Truly, meaning that they can only say that when they get their own children, they're going to do so much of a better job than how their mm-hmm. own parents did for them. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. Terrible. Uh, Mildred says sometimes the mother maybe was hurting inside and was pressed by the husband your husband is a lot in that and that's true that's what mama was saying too sometimes yes. these women they just go along with whatever the man's saying and that's it yes 
Most of the women, most women, most women do that. Mm -hmm. They take whatever the men say, whatever their husband say. Right. I don't want this boy here. This boy is getting on my nerves. I don't want this boy here. Then he get out and go wherever he want to go. And those women will sit there and allow that to happen. That is wrong. Yes. Yeah. Very wrong. Very wrong. Ooh. You can't mind these men. Or maybe he was looking at a boy that maybe the boy does not look like him or what. Why did you go so much to abandon the child? Maybe he just felt that the child was not looking like him. Maybe yeah. like the other children. So he abandoned that. That could be a possibility too. But yes. Audrey says she hoped that a child, she hopes that a young man didn't inherit any of this family's traits, traits um, you know, to be anything like them and possibility that he will not because a lot of time when children go through stuff like that they will oh, yeah. swear that they would yeah, never yeah. never yes. be like yeah. that or ever mm -hmm. do those things to their children and a lot yeah. of times they yeah. don't so yes. they dealt with it <clears throat> mm -hmm. so Gigi said my mom isolated me and my two sons sorry and two sons our whole life now that she is um Oh Lord, sorry, he's so bright. Jesus, take the wheel. Hey, I need help. help. The ones she cared for, they don't have time for her. Now she's calling for me and my sons to take care of her. Wow. Yeah. Hey, look at that. These are that. two stories. Two stories. Every every the, time. Ones, the ones that they praise up. Yeah, the ones that they praise up and have there the most and not normally there for them is the ones that they. They didn't treat the same way that they have to eventually call on. Yes. I'm sorry to hear, yes. hear that, Gigi, mm -hmm. but you know. It's, it's sad, uh, yes. do, but you see how many can. people hurt in the how many people hurt yeah. in our community? You see how many people yeah. hurt in our community? A lot of simple parents yes. neglecting their own children and and lifting up oh. the other children others, and yeah. you're bringing others down and then you come mm. to find that the children become the best yeah they do it all, they do it a lot of time with children a lot of time they, 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 they abandon oh, the yes. children and look at take the other children to be up there mm -hmm. and look at one to be nothing and the right. one they push aside that one become the best among mm -hmm. their children yes exactly. the parents to stop these kind of thing parents should stop this is yeah. not okay. Yeah, and now look at that's what. Sorry, Mama. Go ahead. Now look at this boy. Hmm. When you see the boy, they tell you that he never been to school. You will not believe it. But look at the blessing God flow on this boy. Look at the the wisdom that yeah, this boy got with this woman, and the woman hmm. is so excited to be. With her husband, even though he didn't go to school, but she embraced him. Yeah. He wasn't book smart, but he became street smart. Street smart. You see that? He became street smart. He didn't yes. have no choice, right? Because yeah. he ended up spending time out there in the streets. Yes. Yeah. And he became yeah. the best in the street. He mm -hmm. became the best in the street. Hmm. So Angel was asking, was the other child... Uh, I guess other okay. Was the other child his biological child? Yes, yeah, all three of them. They both married. They born their three children. Three children, right? Yeah, two boys three and children. a girl. And this boy is the one. The boy that married this millionaire that saw him on Facebook mm -hmm. and carry him in Europe. They live right now in Europe. Mm -hmm. Pick him up from mm -hmm. Facebook. He's in Europe yeah. right now. They married. The parents want him now. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And this rich woman is happy with what she got. Yeah. So Mildred is saying DNA tells. So I guess this will be a DNA time. But I mean, you know, chances are that they they are legit, meaning they're probably both his parents. But for some reason, because they felt like he was the bad child in their eyes. They decided that you know what, they don't they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to do anything with a bad child. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. How bad could a child have been that you could not have disciplined them? You could not have disciplined that child on your own. Discipline your child. And other child people go. discipline your child because this boy said he went from house to house, helping people up to survive. 
Nobody accused him of taking anything or stealing or doing anything bad. He didn't end up in prison. He yeah. didn't do anything bad to anybody. He did not kill. How bad could this child be that yeah. you abandoned for life? Now he wants him because somebody pick him up. A woman pick him up and don't care whether he went to school or not. Right. She loves him because of his character, his behavior, his look, everything in one. Yes. So Julie said, if I was a child, I wouldn't want to know them. <laughs> Angel That's said right. it's 50 50. Uh, they can copy exactly the same bad thing and repeat their own case. Um, and repeat it with their own case, or they could do the opposite, the good. That is true. Absolutely correct, Angel. You're right about that. Nobody knows until they have their own children, until he has his own children. Um, but, you know, reaching out to him at a time like this, truly, there's a lot of things there for me, if I was him, that would be going through my mind. Like somebody asks, why now? Why now? Yes. You heard that I got married to a millionaire. I was back there, right in the same country as you. You never even reached out to me. You, know, you, you didn't even care about me. Why now? And and I think this boy, because even when he was leaving from Africa to come to Europe, yeah. he never told them because something must have happened deeply in that house that caused the child to go. Because the woman that saw him, the woman saw him on Facebook, yeah. the woman found a way for him to get to Europe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For him to get married. This rich woman, this millionaire. And he didn't know that the woman was a millionaire. Right. The woman met him on Facebook. Mm. And now the guy is living in a, in a mansion. Yeah. Living good. Mm. So. Not now they want to know his name. Now that's my son. Now that's my son. Yeah. That's my son. And then I, I, they didn't even know that he had left the country. Wow. Hey, what a shame. What a shame. Shame on parents. But that's what so, I'm saying. How could, they, how could they not know? Because if he's marrying this woman, she got to come to Africa. They have to have a wedding. I mean, but not everybody. Not everybody leave Africa and come and marry African widow. Hmm. If the man know, the man know very well that his parents yeah. abandoned him from small. Right. He did not go to school. His brother and sister went to school. Right. They never right. cared about him, so he was a go-go man. So when he got the opportunity to come to Europe, he was gone. The woman picked him up from the street. Right, but what I'm saying is that if the if the woman right from Europe came to Africa to marry him so that she could you know file to get him there or whatever, no, you want to tell me that now with a millionaire and most of the time the millionaires can work their way that, through to get him over there, not to come to get married. Right. That's a, a millionaire yeah. that picked this boy from Facebook. Money talks. You're right. Money, Money talks. talks. Don't shit walk. Don't shit walk. <laughs> <laughs> You are right, my mother. Yes, exactly. But Keisha says, um, that's the problem in this world. People show favoritism with their kids. And you're yes. absolutely correct. That is so correct. Angel said, the rejected uh, stone became the cornerstone. That's, that's right. The foundation. Yes. Foundation. Exactly. Strong foundation. Mm -hmm. Now they want mm -hmm. to be in the life of this child. Yes. How are they going to do it? I'm telling you. Yeah. It's up to do him. And if he does not want them to be in his life, they can't get mad at him either. They call no, it. Because they, they should be it. guilty of what they did now. That's how exactly. I feel. So they need to come down to apologize to him. Come as a parent. Come true. Be true to this child. Find people or maybe some family members. Mm -hmm. And and then you you the parents have to humble yourself. To this kind of child that you treated like this. Right. And then the child found it in their heart to forgive okay. you. But you cannot go rough and say, I am the parent. We are the parents. So you have to know. No. 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 They no. have to humble themselves mm -hmm. and come mm -hmm. to the place for to accept this child to, yes. to draw the child back home. Exactly. You mm -hmm. See? Yeah. 
Um, Angel said, any parent coming to look for a child in old age is simply looking for a nursing home. <laughs> so I want to take care of them. Angel, oh, you're wrong. And especially the family. Right? But that's why you know that when you get old, and you will have to be taking care of your children. Come. That's why exactly. you take care of them when you are when they are young, so that when you get old, they will come and take care of you. But you exactly. don't abandon them. Then you see them now flourishing. Right. You 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 you, you ban this boy from school, from not exactly. getting the education that he need. He just became street smart. Hmm. He's blessed from being street smart. From working and taking care of himself, right. you deny him education. The parents deny him education. They deny him a good care mm -hmm. of life that other people, from young age, that he had to work to get money to survive, yeah. to feed himself. That was wrong for the parents. Oh, that was just, that's not, that's terrible. That was, that was George, that's we're, we're not sure about, oh, I think Mama said, Georgie asked, what about the rest of the, her children? Uh, I think Mama said something about the rest of the children is just not paying them any. The children haven't become, became successful. The other two, the other they weren't two. successful, no, right? The other two became nothing. Like they don't that. even care about them. Right. The ones that they, 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 they sent to school, the one yeah. that they, they took care of, they did everything, don't even care. And they're not even there anyway, because you got to be there before you bring somebody there. Hmm. Uh, but the you. one they rejected, and the one that came out good. Mm -hmm. he, he told the woman, he uh -huh. said, they said when the woman, when he met the woman, he told her, this rich lady, yeah. he told the rich lady, he said, I never went to school. He said, I didn't go to school. Right. And the woman said, it's okay. I love you just as you are. Yes. Mm. So, see, Angel blessing. said, sorry, Mama, go ahead. I said, you see blessing? Yeah. And you see what God can do? Mm. Give you a child mm. that you are going to be blessed. Right. Then you threw the blessing away. Now you want it back. They missed it. They mark. And and wow. only God knows, only God knows if they if they were still in his life, if he was still with them, would he have met this woman? Would I he have know. met this millionaire? That's, that's, the, that's the amazing part of God. That's the amazing part of God. Nobody can understand. Nobody right. knows nobody future. Amen. Nobody knows nobody future. Mm -hmm. Because why would they abandon him right. and he come out to be the best one? Mm. It's God proving to them. It's God proving to the parents, trying to teach the parents or trying to teach other parents. Right. That you do not abandon what I gave you. You do not throw away what I gave you. That is true. Mm. That's a lesson. When I saw that, yeah. when I heard that, I felt, I said, wow. God. Mm. You are amazing, God. Amen. That's the truth. You are amazing, God. Yes. Uh, so, Angel said, unless the boy shows stress of mental health and the parents uh, felt they could not cope, and that's why they let him. But why not get help for him? Why not get help for your child, even if that was the case? You know? Why if he had a mental health or uh, mental health, why you could nobody else complain? Nobody else to see it, only the parents? Because he went from house to house to work for money. Somebody for money to take care of himself. Yeah. Until he found somebody good. And even doing good with a woman. In the woman business, he's doing good. What kind of mental health you think a child like this will have? Child that end up so maybe, good and blessed. Maybe, Mama, maybe those, maybe his parents underestimated him back then yes. when he was a child. Yes. Angel yes. could be right. Maybe in their eyes, they were thinking that he showed signs of mental health. But even if he did, why not get help for your child? Why not get help for your child? Why not get help? He why just abandon your child? Like mm -mm. Not sending your child to school because of that. Why not get help? 
Yeah. Or maybe, or maybe they send that child to school and he fail in a lesson two times or fail in a class one or two times and they just beat him mercifully and, and, just, and just concluded that this boy ain't going to learn nothing. That could be true too. Because some of them do that in, in Africa. Yeah. This boy ain't mean nothing in life. This boy don't want to do nothing for himself in life. And just abandon the person like that. Now the ones that you said they were quiet in the house that you were able to control, yeah. send them to school, love them. Now he come on top of everything. Right. He's the best now. So the stone the better rejected now is the chief cornerstone. Yeah. Yeah. Mama, and one thing I thought about as well, when you talk about the beating part, and, and the question is, even if the child run away, when that happened, if that happened, right, yes. and that child run away, what are you going to look for your child as a beard? That's right. To know about the child's whereabouts? Where be? So that means he grew yeah. up in the street, he learned everything from the street. Right. I believe that some of the houses that you were going to go and work where you were going to work for, for survival. Yeah. He learned from those parents. Yeah. He learned from those people that you were going from house to house. He was learning from them how to behavior, how to behave. You want to tell me he became such a good person from other other parents, from other homes. homes. Yeah. One couldn't get it from his from own his house. My own parents. Hey. Come mm. on, man. Yes, yeah. people should stop and, and, and doing these things, you know? Yeah. No matter the child is rough and whatever the, you, you think within yourself. Because some people will not carry their child for mental check. They will just say, oh, that one, he, he got no head yeah. on his shoulder. Yeah. That one got no sense. Yeah. Then you take the, the other children better than that one. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that yeah. child not to be. Mm. It's the best. The one you tell that knew everything, that were everything to you. You feel right. that you educate them to be someone, where are they now? Why you want the one that you abandoned that you talk would not be anything? Mm. Why now? Why now? Why now? But Carolyn Cox said, my niece's mother abandoned her at the age of two months. Oh my God. Yes. So I never looked back. Now she's 22 years old at university with 24 subjects god is good amen yes, yes. he is oh that's terrible yes. Too those much. kind of children come up very good yes they come up very good the only thing this boy missed that he couldn't mm -hmm. go to school yes wow it's a shame <clears throat> now let me see god keep him that exactly god kept him Absolutely, yes, he did. I, I mm -hmm. Angel says, serves them right for discrimination. I'm yeah. telling you, not yeah. even come back in his life. Why now? Why now? Is it because of the money? I mean, I, I think it's money, Mama. I think it is. I believe it's money or because they yeah. want to be identified with him when they never wanted to be identified with him all this time. The, the boy in Africa now because he's in Europe now. They found out that he got a good woman married. See him looking good. You know, everybody on Facebook. One more thing, Mama. There's a possibility that maybe one of those parents might also be sick. Maybe one of them are ill and they want to make it right with him before they pass on. Mm. Oh well, well, I don't know that much. Take two. I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking. So oh, you want to get ill before you look for your child? I'm just saying, Mama, that's I not the right thing to do. No, but you're not conscience. Gonna... Okay, let's say it's the, the dad. His conscience might be bothering him. Oh my God, what we did to Tom was so wrong. We got to ask him for forgiveness. I'm just saying. I'm thinking outside of the box. Well, they could not have gotten, they could, I don't think they, they it, it, it's not, I mean, they might not be sick, but maybe you know people like talk, yeah. talk the picture from Facebook. Can you imagine somebody taking your son picture or their mm -hmm. wedding picture from Facebook, married to a rich mm -hmm. man, a woman on the yak and bring that picture and say, yeah, your son. You're right. Yeah, they go with pictures. And then yeah. you see the picture. 
and you know that your son you know and you feel that guilt come on upon you yeah every human being got conscience oh, excuse me you just decided to say look you know what we need that, to go that, back in the no, 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 mama they see the picture of him looking so good that no guilt that's our son wow he looks rich no, guilt they felt the guilt on themselves. Why they never, they never, they will never look after him. Probably they Sorry. thought he was going to be destroyed. They thought uh, this boy was going to go, go in the street and 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 damage himself. But God, God was with him. Yeah, they they saw his picture looking fresh, looking good. Maybe he was wearing a suit and a tie, and they probably thought to themselves, "Wow." That's our son in Europe. Wow. We got to hit him up. Yes. You know? Uh, uh, why now? Mm -hmm. Why now? That's the question. Exactly. Sorry, I was looking at a comment. Um, so Audrey said they are not humbling themselves. They're securing themselves for their later days. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Naomi said, um, a great glamour said, the, reject, the rejected stone shall one day become the chief cornerstone. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes, so parents should stop yep. doing that. Yep. Just do yeah, good. Stop doing that. such. Exactly. Stop rejecting mm. your children. Stop. Stop doing favoritism. Yes. Stop so Julie, doing favoritism. Exactly. Julie said, I will never leave my kids, never mind one of them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And just said, the other one's better than this other one. That's not good. No, no it's Treat not. Treat all your children the same. Treat every one of them the same. Mm -hmm. Even if one is rough. Yeah. They consider them that they are your children. Mm -hmm. They run, they go, they come back, accept them. Exactly. Encourage them. Find time to talk with them. But don't just leave them like that. Don't don't leave them in the world like that. Mm -hmm. And make the person live in this world like they got nobody. Yeah. And you brought them in the world. That's right. At the end of the day, God will prove you wrong. What I gave you, you make it look like it's not good. But I will show you that what I gave you was good i don't give bad things mm -hmm. so now i'm going to prove it to you mm -hmm. for what they're supposed to do i think they should humble themselves right and find a way to 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 they shouldn't demand him as a child yeah because he never demanded them to take care of him they shouldn't demand him as a child to come back to, 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 to come back let it be. What they need to do is how are they going to because he's not in Africa, he in Europe, they are in Africa. So find people. Right. Let them talk with him to say we we know what we did is wrong. Yeah. yeah. Be frank with him. Tell him. Exactly. We abandon you. We never yeah. knew that you you are you are going to be like this. It's not because of the money they, they or should, business yet. Yeah. They shouldn't say that part, Mama. <laughs> they, should, they shouldn't put that part in there. <laughs> it would no, tell her what I'm Because yeah. <laughs> now we didn't know that you would become like this. No. Do not put that part in there. Mm. We abandoned you. What we did was wrong. We're sorry. We hope you can find it in your heart to forgive us. Mm -hmm. uh, don't put in that part about we didn't think you ever become like this. No, no, no. no. They're going okay. down the wrong road. Even if they're thinking it in their mind, they shouldn't say it. Okay. Because the, the, the moment they say that part, it will go worse. <laughs> I will be thinking to myself like this, become like this, how rich or smart. Because now they're making me think. So don't say that part. Don't say that part. So. I mean, yes. I, she, they need to calm down. Yes, they can press him against the wall, no. They need to just humble themselves as parents. They need to humble themselves as parents mm -hmm. to bring this ball 
you know, gradually, gradually, for that family love to kick in. Yes. They should do it slow, slow, not rough, rough. Now, you know, we are your parents, you got to know. Ask for forgiveness. And Ask for forgiveness. And give him And work on it. Gradually, gradually, I think he's able to come back home gradually because he's married now. Maybe the wife give him will time. try to encourage him to. So, you know, they are old. You know, they did wrong. They never sent you to school. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, maybe the wife would be a good woman or she is a good woman. Right. You know, she would try yeah, to talk him to him. Right. But you can't go rough with him. You know, yeah. parents, you already made a mistake. Yeah. Even though the Bible say honor your parents and your days will be longer, your mother and your father. But the Bible also say parents do not provoke, fathers do not provoke your children. So if you provoke somebody, what do you do? You got to come quietly mm -hmm. and humble yourself, you know, bring them to the place of understanding. I think if you humble yourself and come peacefully and, you know, take the blame where you went wrong with the child. Yes. Don't bring blame on the child no. where you went wrong with this child. Come and let the child know that, hey, what I did was wrong. Yeah. What we did was wrong, so we want to, you know, appeal to you. Yeah. We want yeah. to tell you that we are sorry. You okay. know, forgive us. And because if you sincere, God will see that and he will turn his heart towards you. But mm -hmm. you can't come rough because you are parents. Mm -hmm. You got to humble yourself now. Know that God gave you a responsibility and you abandoned it. Right. So you can't exactly. come rough. Because the same God said, do not provoke your children. If you provoke them to that extent, that yeah. is, went in the street and the street took care of them. Mm. Mm. You are responsible oh. for everything that happened. So you have to come to that place to say, hey, I humble myself. Yeah. We went wrong. We are your parents. And good thing he knows who the parents are. It's just what the parents did to him they got to pray to God, too, that when they say, we are your parents, that he doesn't tell them, my parents died a long time ago. <laughs> no, he will know his parents go. <laughs> I'm just saying, my mama. Yes, that's the way that's said, my life, you know. Emma said, always treat your children the same. Amen. Yes. You are correct. Yes, yes. Because even he could be the cause for the other sibling to even go to Europe. Yes. He could have the other children to go to Europe because he, he got big companies. He could even find a job for them. Look at the mess sometimes parents can cause. He might not even want nothing to do with them. Only God knows if he might have seen them around town, meaning where they were living as they grow older. He pro they probably were seeing each other. But you know, never had time that, for him. That's what I'm saying. Possibility, because it's not like he left the state where they were living. Well, I don't know, but I'm just saying that he probably was around the same town, and yeah. he was doing the work for people. Chances are, they were probably sending him to do errands, market, maybe doing little things for them. They pro he probably saw them around. Yeah. Maybe he yeah. probably didn't recognize them. All depends on the ages mm -hmm. and when it happened. Mm -hmm. But um, some. Said no, Mama. That part, and I was him. I will run for the hills because you are now here for my wealth, not forgiveness. Correct, right? That's what I was saying. Don't tell them the yes, part. About, we didn't think okay. that he would have become. No, no, no. That's going down the wrong road. So, um, Glitz Glamma says, if those Af if those parents are Africans. They only need him for money, period. <laughs> <laughs> he was out in the street. Oh, Lord, let me see if I could. This is a long one. If he was out in the streets gang banging, um, sick or not sick, they will never want him with a niche of them. That's true. The only mm -hmm. person would have let him. Uh, around maybe his grandmother because african grandmothers can never find anything wrong in their grandchildren mm -hmm. some of them actually yes she's yes. right 
And he yes. was sitting there, he could gang bang in, doing all of that. Oh, yeah. He probably would have never even heard from them. They probably wouldn't even mm -hmm. come to his rescue. And he no. got locked up, and maybe one of the neighbors say, You know, I think I heard your son got locked up. They probably wouldn't even have gone. They mm -hmm. would have said that boy was troubled from, from day one or from yes. growing up. Mm -hmm. So, wow. yeah, you're right, Naomi. I like that. <laughs> oh my God. I love that. All right, Mama. So, you know, I mean, you gave a lot of great information here. What advice mm -hmm. do you have for these parents? I mean, some people put it in here. Emma said, treat all your children the same, which is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. um, don't abandon any of them. If one of them have any mental health issues or anything, get help yeah. for them. Or yes. if they're getting in trouble at school all the time, discipline mm -hmm. your child. All depends on what kind yes. of trouble they're getting in. You're the parent. Mm -hmm. You gotta know how to discipline your child. Like yes. you said, God gave them the children. So yes. why, why not discipline him? Discipline the other two and say, you know what? We done with you. We can't be bothered with you. You're doing too much. Only yes. God knows how they handle it. Yes. But you should treat all your kids the same. They're all going you to don't, you don't know who they yeah. are. Yes, and you don't know who they're different. going to become. Exactly. Treat all of them the same. Yes. Don't do partiality. Don't choose among them. Don't pick mm -hmm. and choose. God yeah. gave them to you. You don't know who they are. Absolutely. You don't know. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's all I have to say. People should not do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But for the man, you're saying for the man, forgive them and just go on with his life live his life forgive them but he doesn't have to you know be around them if he doesn't choose to be but forgiveness at least forgive yeah, them, just forgive them yeah. as parents forgive them take your time find it in your heart yeah if they need help and they call upon you help them yeah you know help them if they call upon you not right. even if they don't call upon you Find it in your heart to forgive them. They are your parents. They threw you away, but you don't throw them away. Yeah. Don't throw them away. Mm. That is true. So, All right. Well, you know, anyone else that comes along and listen to this video, definitely drop your opinions in there um, to what we spoke on here today. We love to hear feedback which is this is our talk show and feedback is welcome reaction opinion that's how we do it here and some other people might come along and listen to the video and they will be able to see your opinions that are placed in there they might be in a similar situation or about yes. to become in one and it might make them think differently hearing what we are saying here today yes all right all right well thank you all for joining in the sweet mama and peach talk show today this happens on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.